There are several ways to test for mycoplasma hyonemoniae, and knowing which method is right for the job is key. In this video, we'll be going over how to take a deep tracheal sample with the highest level of safety and accuracy. But before diving in to how you properly take a deep tracheal sample, here is the testing equipment you will need for each pig. A catheter, a mouth gag, a laryngoscope, a swine snare, scissors, and a sterile tube. Keep in mind if you're conducting sampling on a piglet, smaller catheters and a smaller mouth gag are required. And for the best chance at a clean sample, make sure you have the following supplies. Personal protective equipment, a permanent marker, protective earplugs, disinfectant wipes, a caddy for equipment, a trash bag, storage bags for samples, a cooler, ice packs, a submission form, and mailing and packaging materials. The first step in sampling is identifying what your diagnostic objective is and the subsequent test group. Once you know that, select a pig for testing. Depending on your herd size, you will usually sample somewhere between 25 and 35 pigs. Place snare around the pig's snout behind its upper set of teeth. If you're sampling a piglet, have one person pin the piglet under their arm using their hand to support the breastplate. The other hand will be used to control the piglet's head, allowing the other person to collect the sample. Once the pig or piglet is under control, insert the mouth gag between its jaws. Safely controlling the pig can often be a two-person job, so make sure you have help. Another alternative to a mouth gag and tongue depressor could be a piece of 2-inch or 5-centimeter PVC pipe or 1-inch or 2.5-centimeter pipe for piglets. Make sure the edges are sanded smooth. Remove catheter from packaging. If you don't have a sampling catheter, an artificial insemination catheter will work fine. Use the blade of the laryngoscope to see into the back of the pig's throat. If you don't have a laryngoscope, position pig under a light source and use a tongue depressor. Next, use your other hand to slowly feed the catheter into the pig's throat. The epiglottis must go down to see the larynx opening. As the catheter passes the larynx, you will hear the pig squeal change in pitch. It's possible the pig will be quiet and not squeal at all. Be careful not to insert the catheter into the esophagus. When you clear the larynx, collect the sample by rotating and sliding the catheter up and down and around the trachea. When you remove the catheter, check to make sure there's enough mucus on the catheter for a good sample. Cut mucus end off catheter, then place in sterile tube. Close and label it before placing it in a labeled bag. Fill out the submission form for that pig's sample. Mark the pig as sampled. Use disinfecting wipes to clean all tools that will be used on the next group of pigs. Anything that could possibly contaminate the sampling from one pig to the next must be replaced or cleaned. Once you are finished collecting all your samples, secure the tubes in the cooler with enough ice packs to maintain a temperature between 32 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 and 4 degrees Celsius. Secure lid on the cooler with packing tape, include a completed submission form and the appropriate mailing information. You can view more videos on proper mycoplasma hyonemoniae testing in its various forms on the Beringer Ingelheim Swine Health YouTube page.